Hey guys, I am back with another video. And as you know by the thumbnail, today's video is going to be all on body care. Body care that's going to help smooth the skin, even up the skin. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I have four products here today that I wanna to talk to you all about, but I do have countless other skincare or body care videos that you can go and check out. I'll list them down below. And there's so many out there. And I think in the past several years, I have reviewed a lot. Check them out. And if you find that something or the things that I talk about in this video don't help, definitely check out the others because I'm sure that you'll be able to find something that helps with any type of issue that you're having. And before I go ahead and get into it, I do wanna get a little housekeeping out of the way. If the lighting is going in and out, that's because I have a window that way. So we're just gonna act like we don't even see that. So with these products that I'm gonna talk about, you'll find that they either have AHAs, with, which are alpha hydroxy acids. And as you know, alpha hydroxy acids will gently exfoliate the skin. You'll also find that these have antioxidants and as you know antioxidants fight free radicals which cause uh, premature aging dark spots uneven skin texture and tone so you'll see that those particular ingredients will be the highlights in these products now I have had the opportunity to use these probably about four months or so um, so and I feel like with any product that you're going to use um, if it's skincare that's just in my opinion I feel that that's a good amount of time to be able to determine if it's going to be something that irritates your skin or if it's just um, if it just doesn't work or if it's enough size to see something and I have seen some changes in my skin and I do believe that it's because of the products that I use so let's go ahead and talk about these all right so first up I have a body cream by Necessaire and this is their barrier repair treatment with 5% niacinamide plus five ceramides comes in a glass container like this so if recycling is something that you are very committed to this would be something good to have or you could even reuse it for something else because it's glass but this one is a very thick formula very very thick I love using it at night um, I will put like a second layer on my feet and like on my heels and things like that and then put on a thick pair of socks but this works really good and if I'm not mistaken let me smell it again this one does not have a fragrance and you all know that I'm not a fan of fragrance only because some fragrances um, do have in my opinion some trash and you have to do your research when you're um, if you do see a fragrance look at the ingredients and see exactly what it is they do have some that are just straight perfume and they have some that are essential oils and then even with the essential oils they say that some are good and some not so good so just kind of be careful with that and a lot of that is because it can be very irritating. If you do see a product that has fragrance in it, uh, do a patch test before you purchase it. Or let's say you're shopping in Sephora or Ulta or wherever you're shopping, you could just kind of put a little on the back of your ear or you know right here or something like that and see if your skin is irritating. That will let you know if you're gonna have a problem with that product. This one is also vegan, it's cruelty free, it's plant friendly, everything friendly and politically correct. This particular product has it very um, well worth the funds in my opinion. So it has a lot of ceramides which are really going to protect and repair your skin barrier. It's also got the niacinamide and that's where we get into the smoothing of the skin and it's also got fatty acids which are going to soothe and fortify any skin sensitivities so this one has a lot of good um, things going on i do try to use this one sparingly because to me it really offers a lot and i think it works really well but definitely try this one if you have issues with rough skin or something like that all right so next up is a product by ola hendrix 
This is their Beam Cream Smoothing Body Moisturizer with AHAs. Comes in a plastic container like this one. This is another one that's really thick. Um, right now, this one is on sale for $22. And in my opinion, for a very high quality body cream with some really good ingredients that leaves out a lot of trash, I think that's an excellent price. This has been on sale for some time for $22. And I checked, I'm actually looking at Sephora now, and it's on sale for $22. So I would advise, if you can, um, pause the video and get this for $22. This is a nice size. This is, how many ounces? This is 6.4 ounces. And I've had it for several months and it's still quite a bit in here, as you can see. I absolutely love it. So another thing, this isn't a part of the video, but I just want to share with you. Um, I have the Ola Hendrick Firming, Firming Yours Toning Dry Body Oil. These two go together and I like to use this one right after I get out of the shower and then where my skin is still moist and moist still damp <laughs> and then I'll apply, apply this and these work so well together. This one is more toning and firming and this one is more for smoothing but this one works so well. I like to use it at night because it is very thick. It almost gives you a feeling of an oil just a little bit not much because I know when, pe when you say oil uh, people kind of like, mm, I don't want my skin to be oily, but it is a very thick cream. That's why I would recommend using it at night. Kind of like, just think of it uh, at night when you're winding down, it's time to treat yourself. It's, try it's time to do the most at night. This is another product that is clean at Sephora. Good for anti-aging, uneven texture. It also has caffeine, which helps nourish and support the skin. It has essential fatty acids like rich butters and oils and those will help nourish and condition the skin. Also another thing that I like about this one as well as the Necessaire I forgot to mention is that it doesn't have alcohol. You do have two types of alcohols out there. You have the regular alcohol, the nate, that's how you'll see it in ingredients or you'll have fatty alcohols. Those are um, hydrating alcohols. So if you see that, uh, those are the difference. Um, one is good for your skin and one is not so good. And the reason that it's not so good is because it dries out the skin. It's just really not good to, for the skin. Now, can you use it? Yes, you can. But if you're trying to put together a really effective skincare that's going to do the most for your skin over time, I would say to just kind of skip something that has uh, the drying alcohol in it. All right, so next up I have a product by Topicals and this is their Slather Exfoliating Body Serum with retinol and AHA. So, so far out of the three, this one has got to be the powerhouse as far as the number of ingredients that are going to exfoliate the skin and smooth it out. So it's got the capsulated trans all retinol in it. It's also got urea in it. It's also got lactic acid as well as glycolic acid. All of those are going to gently exfoliate the skin. And this is another one that I like to use sparingly. I'd like to put this one back here, you know, cause notoriously, you know, if I don't stay on top of it, you know how some people have the back acne or they have the, the bumps or, or whatever, or dark spots, you know, I, that, that would be my problem area that I have been working on. And as you can see, I think I just the other day, I got a, uh, I'm trying to feel, figure what it is. I got a knot right here. It's a little black, where is it? Anyway, this, this right here, like this, and on the back. I'm sure you've seen, you know, some people who have like back issues. So what I'll do is I'll use this one specifically in that area. And I feel like that it's it, that it works. And I do have to use it twice a day and I really try to stay on it. So if you see it in Sephora, I would say to check it out. It may be too, a little bit too thin and it's, it's classified as a cream. So I guess technically it's not a moisturizer, it's a serum. So, but we still can use it. In fact, um, after I use this, because it's it's a serum i will apply a moisturizer on top of it so hope all of that makes sense but this one is so good and you know when i was purchasing these uh the lady that was in sephora she was like try that that's so good that's so good and then i, I you know i kind of 
you know, tested it out and it didn't provide like moisture or hydration, but that's not what it's for. It's, I mean, yeah, you can get it with this product, but the main thing that it's gonna do is gently exfoliate the skin. And I would say, hey guys, hand that, hands down, if that's your issue, like if rough skin or hard skin or chicken skin or whatever you wanna call it, um, this is the product to get out of Sephora. All right, next up I have a product by Tatcha and this is the Hinoki Body Milk Lotion. This one also comes in a glass bottle and I believe this top is wood. I think it's, it's wood, it doesn't feel plastic. It does have squalene in it and squalene has a lot of antioxidants that are gonna fight free radicals. Anytime you see a product has antioxidants in it, just know it's going to fight free radicals. And I've done so many videos telling you all the backstory and what that is and what that looks like but you'll know that that's a good thing. It also has peach tree leaf extract, which visibly renews dry skin for a smoother, healthy look. It also has forest awakening essential oils, and that is a particular blend that helps lift the mood and ease stress. And that's why I like to treat myself with this if I've had a hard day. You know, I'll take my shower and I'll put this on because I promise you, it does something to kind of help you relax the way that it smells. But if you're sensitive to smells and things like that, I would say to leave this one alone. <laughs> but I really enjoy using it. Plus it does offer a lot of good benefits. Of course, next time when you're in Sephora and you see it, just go by and you know sniff it and smell it and see if you like it and see if it's worth it. But I definitely uh, think so. On the, on the kind of like a side note, you know, since uh, the Forest Awakening essential oil, that's a blend. And like if you're one that you do like to um, have essential oils, you know, some people put essential oils in the little uh, misters, I think that's what they're called. Definitely do that if you, you have issues with kind of winding down and, you know, just kind of needing something to help with your mood. You could just buy the oil blend and put that in there and just have it somewhere in your room or by your bed and trust me. It, it will help if you do try it let me know down in the comments but i really have been enjoying this and i have seen a difference after using the product so that's it short and sweet let me know down in the comments if you've tried using any of these products did they work for you or if they didn't work for you let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches